So this house is quite unique in its genesis, uh, largely because of the lot. And the lot is a square. It's 50 by 50. Um, and that is uh, a bit unusual, especially it's not a corner, it's a mid block. Um, the typical lot in the neighborhood is, is a 25 foot wide and the typical lot even in Toronto is, is similar, especially in the core, uh, 25 by 100. So while you would normally have a long narrow house, uh, what seems like a constraint to the, the square lot actually is kind of an opportunity to, to explore a different um, siting of that house in the same area on the lot. And uh, the result is, is I, th I think, actually better uh, despite the constraint. I have to say I'm completely wowed at this home. I was friends with the previous owner, so very familiar with the home as it was before and there's just no words to describe how it's changed. When you would come into the house before, you immediately went into a little hallway, up some stairs to two very small rooms, and one bathroom, which I think was the only bathroom in the house. Um, perhaps there was one in the basement. Very traditional home. You had the back deck. I don't think you had a garage. You had a large yard. And this is so spacious, and there's so much light. The windows are exquisite, you feel like you're part of nature. The woodwork is amazing. It's hard to describe how, how much it's been transformed, this space. I think the architect has done a phenomenal job and I would like to move in. They've done a great job on it. Yeah. It's bright, it's cheerful, it's roomy. You know, it's, yeah, it's... It's uh, futuristic. It's got stuff I would never even imagine. We've been there since um, 1967 oh, wow. in the same house. So. Oh, wow. So yeah. we've seen a lot of changes in the neighborhood. Yeah. All these houses have yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with what they were able to do. With yeah. this little lot. I didn't this, think you could have such a big a, house on such yeah, a... Yeah. You know, and you still have a backyard. Nine has a lot of significance in, in Chinese culture. Um, my wife is Chinese and I've learned a bit, not enough, but I've learned a bit. The character for Nine is Jiu. That uh, has some significance in the sense that it sounds a bit like the word for lasting, for, uh, for things that, have, that age well, to my understanding. So this, is, this kind of informs uh, the process that I take and then the reason why it's named this way is, is, is to kind of signify that when you build something you're doing it to last.